Hi, everybody. Welcome to our series preview, the Panthers and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Steve Goldstein, Randy Moeller, and Moles, let's get right into this. You know, it's fitting that we're here at the Baptist Health Iceplex, the Panthers' new practice facility, the Fort Lauderdale War Memorial, Randy, because hockey in Florida has boomed over the last few years. So it's the Panthers and the Lightning again, third time in four years. What is this matchup? mean for hockey in the state and for the fans? Well, for the state, I think it just validates that this is a hockey destination, whether it is in the NHL or even in uh, minor hockey. The game has grown so much, and these rinks that are being built, especially this beautiful facility that the Panthers are practicing in now, it shows that the interest in hockey at all levels is at an all-time high. All right, let's get into the matchup here against the Lightning. Panthers are the division champs. They come in as the favorite. Uh, that hasn't always been the case when they've met in the playoffs. Do you like the Panthers in that spot with the 110 points, the 52 wins, and the great season they had against a perennial champion in the Lightning? Well, and I think if the Panthers come away and win this series, it will validate that they are the best team in the state of Florida. Uh, they've proven over the last couple of years that they, in the regular season, they're the most complete team in the NHL and in the state of Florida. But until they beat the, the Tampa Bay Lightning with all those veterans and all those players that have had uh, so many Stanley Cup runs, it's going to be interesting, and the Panthers know that to, to get over, over that hump, they have to beat the Tampa Bay Lightnings in a playoff series. In the last six years... Panthers and Lightning have won the division four times, and the last four years, the Stanley Cup finalist, the Eastern Conference champ, has been either the Panthers and the Lightning. So when you look at a playoff matchup like this, Randy, Sergei Bobrovsky had an amazing season, his best year probably in seven or eight years. You got the other guy, Andre Vasilevsky, who's been money in the playoffs. What percentage would you say this series will be decided by the goaltending matchup? Well, because these two goaltenders are world-class and they've proven their winning pedigree, that I think it's going to be 60, 70 percent. This series will come down to goaltending. Sergei Bobrovsky has proven that he can play against any team, win against any team, and I thought he was the most consistent goaltender throughout the regular season in the NHL for the Florida Panthers. But Andre Vasilevsky, the old veteran, he turns it on. He started the season uh, injured. Uh, he had the back surgery. It took him a while to get going, but he's proven down the stretch. He's a, such a big, experienced, flexible goaltender. He can win series all by himself. The Panthers know what they have to do. They've got to get traffic in front of him and make his life miserable game one and especially game one and game two. Yeah, Sergei Bobrovsky this year closed in on nine, uh, 400 wins. He'll get that next season. How much of it, Randy, the six shutouts tied to the league lead, how much of it do you think was a carryover from the confidence that he gained during the great run last year? Yeah, I, I, I think so. I, I think, you know, Sergey Bobrovsky is, he's, he's a veteran goaltender. He doesn't change game one of the regular season or it would be game one of the playoffs. He prepares the same way mentally, physically, on and off the ice. I don't think the pressure is going to be that much more on him this year facing Andre Vasilevsky because of the experience and the success that he had last year. These guys are veteran goaltenders, and I don't think nerves will play a part in it. All right, we're all ready for the broadcast. I've got my, my lineup cards with, with both, uh, both teams' lineups. This is a star-studded series. Cannot wait for 1230 on Sunday, Randy. The top six for both teams, you're talking about Kucherov, who had like a million points this year. Point and Stamkos, uh, over 40 goals. Sam Reinhart with 57. Kachuk and Barkov and Verhage, Mr. Playoff. Does either team have an advantage when you look at those top six forwards, those top two lines? How does the matchup look to you? Well, if you squeeze it really tight, I, I think it's kind of a wash, the, the, the top two lines. They can both uh, lines, top two lines for the, for the Panthers and Tampa Bay Lightning can fill the net with goals. We all know that. They can, they're, they're highly prolific offensive lines. Where I think it's going to come down to is the success on the power play. And Tampa Bay with Kucherov, the best passer in the National Hockey League, that could be a factor in this series if the Tampa Bay Lightning will get on the power play more than the Panthers won. Yeah, and the Panthers' penalty kill, that was, and Paul Maurice has talked about this many times from last season, a point of uh, you know, contention was getting that penalty kill better than it was a year ago. They've been wildly successful at it after the first month of the season. The Panthers' top three, top five, and the PK is the simple answer to it, Randy, just 
stay smart and don't take penalties against these guys. <laughs> I will say it in game one. I'll say it all, se all series long. This series could be, divide, uh, could be decided by the discipline of the Florida Panthers. Now, we all know the Panthers are the most aggressive, best four-checking team. That's why they have the success. They're so tough to play against because of their aggressive puck pursuit style. But if they get over-aggressive and have a parade to the penalty box, that's what the Tampa Bay Lightning want. They, want to, they don't want to play five-on-five. Five. They want to play in the power play, and they can pick you apart with Kucherov, Hedman back on the point. We know Stamkos with the one-timer. My suggestion is don't <laughs> allow them. Play a hard five-on-five five game. Panthers will take some penalties, but they're, they, they're very confident in their penalty kill, but not overload the Lightning with the power play opportunities. I think that's the only way that the Panthers can get themselves in a bit of a pickle in this series is if the Tampa Bay Lightning power play is dictating the wins in this series. Now, you talk about the Panthers defensively. Gustav Forsling, just outrageous. I mean, a plus 56, unbelievable. Rarely on the ice for a five-on-five -five goal. Part of the penalty kill. You look at him and Ekblad, you look at Nico Mikkel in there now, Randy. Yeah. Oliver Ekman, Larson, Dmitry Kulikov, veterans signed during the offseason. Uh, are the Panthers more well-equipped on that blue line than maybe they were a few years ago in those two matchups against the Lightning? Well, definitely they have the size and the aggressiveness that the Panthers are going to need, and that's the way they play. That's their team identity. You take a look at the comparisons for the Panthers defensive on the defensive side and the Lightning. For the Lightning... Victor Hedman is all world, but it drops off considerably after that, and especially on their third pair of defense. Panthers are very consistent. They're confident they can match up very well with any team, any line, with all three pairs. They have the mobility, they have the offense, the skating ability, Montour and Forsling, and the grit, the nastiness that it's going to take in the corners to win those puck battles, and that's where the Panthers will either uh, succeed in their own zone and keeping that crease clear and allowing Sergei Bobrovsky to see those shots, or Tampa Bay, they'll pick you apart. They're going to crash the net and try and get in Bobrovsky's kitchen. And you talk about the depth. Let's look at the forwards, because last year, I think opposing coaches even said this publicly and privately, the Panthers' third line was such a big key. You talk about the top guys often canceling each other out in these playoff series. Last year was Los Durian and Lundell and Reinhardt. Now it's Etu, Anton Lundell, and Evan Rodriguez. Yeah. They've looked terrific here down the stretch. Can that Panthers' third line be the difference maker? No, diff no doubt. That, that, that's going to be the wild card. I think the Panthers, uh, the depth in their third and fourth line especially, and let's talk about that third line. Because of Lundell, Loisterin, and, and Rodriguez are so tough to cover because of their skating and puck handling ability that it's a tough matchup for the Tampa Bay Lightning if they want to try and get a defensive line against them. If you do that, then, well, you've got the Barkoff line and the Reinhardt line, so pick your poison. They were outstanding last year. One of the reasons why the Panthers went the distance they did in the playoffs was the, the, the maturation of Anton Lundell and Etu Loisterainen. Now with Evan Rodriguez, I love the chemistry on that line. They're always in motion. They're aggressive. They're good skating teams on both sides of the puck. they got to hold their own defensively, but when they chip in for those key goals late in the game, critical times in the game, that could be the turning point, the tipping point for the Panthers. And a tipping point this year for the Panthers, the season of Sam Reinhart. I mean, 27 power play goals, led the league, a franchise record, 57 goals. I didn't think the last 20 years, Randy, that any Panther would ever come close. It wouldn't even be a conversation to pass Pavel Bure's 58 and 59 goals. Sam Reinhart came close. How much of a factor is that? He and Barkov and that hockey IQ they have, are they the best duo in this series? Well, I think they're the best duo both offensively and defensively. And we've talked about it so many times. Sam Reinhart, with the phenomenal offensive year that he's had, he didn't sacrifice the defense for it. There's no cheating in his game. I think he's the best uh, Panther player besides Alexander Barkov at winning those battles along the boards. You win the battles, that equates to puck possession. And that is why Sam Reinhardt had the 57 goals, is because the puck was either on his stick or Barkov's stick in the offensive zone. You've got to have the puck in order to score goals. But we've got to expect 
that the Tampa Bay Lightning are going to put every egg in their basket to try and shut down Sam Reinhart, as the Panthers are with Kucherov. So expect that. Reinhardt's got to battle through that. He's not going to have the time and space that he's enjoyed throughout the regular season. But if he drives to the net and gets himself open, which I think he's the best in the league at doing that, he's going to be a big factor in this series. How much of a factor, finally, the coaching, Paul Maurice, 26 years, we know the resume, second most wins all time. John Cooper's done a phenomenal job with the lightning over there. Does home ice maybe mean more because of some of the things you just talked about? You get the last change at home. Does Paul Maurice, when he's home, go Barkoff against Point when we're over in Tampa? Does John Cooper try to get Braden Point away from Barkoff? That means Sam Bennett. How, how do you think that coaching and the line matchups is, is a factor in this series? I think with coaching in the playoffs, it's all about adjustments. You can't stick with the same game plan, especially if you're struggling a little bit or if it's not working consistently. Coaches that have success in the playoffs will make adjustments, and Paul Maurice has proven over the last couple years that he's the best in the game at that. We've seen it. And what I uh, explain that is he's not afraid of changing up the lines, the forward lines, or the D pairs. If things aren't going quite the way that he wants or his coaching staff had planned for the team, it's about adjustments and then executing those adjustments. Be flexible. Paul Maurice has proven that as one of the best goal, uh, coaches in the NHL. John Cooper, the same way. He has the experience. I don't give an edge to each coach. I think they'll coach their teams to their strengths, but it's going to be the adjustments throughout this long series, I believe, that that will be the difference. We have waited a full year and for this, the playoff run, and two years for the rematch. Redemption literally is on the table. Panthers and Lightning coming up. Enjoy it, and we'll have the whole series on television. Looking forward to it. Thanks, everybody.